good. Yeah. Can I? probably look really daft doing this but it's one of those things you've got to do for yourself to actually get a sense of why it's such fun and it's really really easy to do you just tie some string around the end of a coat hanger and wrap it around your fingers stick your fingers in your ears and bash it against something <laughs> I tried this out earlier with my son and we had a really good time doing it. He really liked the fact that he could just bash things and make a lot of noise around the house without being told to stop, but also because he was genuinely surprised and so was I about the kinds of noises we could make. What does that sound like? It sounds like a bell ringing. A bell ringing, okay, so I'm going to show you something with these and it's going to sound, well, we'll find out. There, ready? Now hit it. <laughs> it's a toy, is it funny? Noise. So what is it different from when you do it here? Yeah, it's really nice. So this is a really fun way to spend some time with your child. They get to choose what to test out and it's a really good way to introduce them or remind them about the idea of variables. Those are things that we can change that affect the things that we're looking at or in this case listening to. Shall we try it with something else? See if we can make different sounds? Okay. Right. Oh, that one, of course. Right, let me have a go then. Where was the sound going? Through the string. Through the string. Through the string. Clever boy. Wow. Making a lower sound. Made a lower sound. So do you think this is going to sound the same or different to the metal one? Different. Why is that? Because it's plastic. Okay, let's have a test. You still hardly hear it. You can't really hear it. Is there anything on the table we could do differently? Okay. So what do you think will happen if we do that? It probably will make the same noise. Do you think it will? Yeah. What we've got here is at least two variables. We've got the type of string we're using and the type of object that we're bashing. Does that sound different from string? Yeah. So what's different about the nylon string and that string? Nylon makes the noise go further than the string. So we tested all these different things out. Yeah. What did you think? Well, it was really surprising when it, the nylon kept going on and on and on. So it made a good noise? Yeah. And what have, what have we learnt about the different different things we've tried today? Well, different materials make different sounds. Okay, okay. Sounds are made when an object vibrates. It might not always look like it, but if an object is making a sound, a part of it must be vibrating. Usually we hear sounds because the vibration of the object makes the air around it vibrate and those vibrations travel into our ears. When we listen to the coat hanger through the string, the vibrations travel through the string and not through the air, and that's why it sounds so different. The sound travels differently through solids, liquids and gases. The string is a solid, and so the sound travels differently through the string than it would through the air. Although I kind of understand the science behind this, I was still really surprised by the different sounds. We had loads of fun doing this, and I hope you do too. Okay, look, okay, we've already got our tower twice the height.